Newly released surveillance video showing the chaos that unfolded after a gunman opens fire inside MPD District 5. The February incident came just two days after a man died in police custody. The video comes as Milwaukee police continue the investigation into the in-custody death of Keyshawn Thomas. Family members want to know why only 17 minutes of his 16 hours in custody has been made public. Michelle Fiore is live in our newsroom with more. Michelle. Jessica, but Amanda, the, in the video, Thomas tells police that he ingested a rock and an ecstasy pill and that he'd smoked marijuana before the arrest. At one point, Thomas tells police he doesn't feel well. An officer asks if he wanted to go to the hospital. He says no, so they take him to a holding cell instead. Uh, just stand by. We'll be right back with you in a minute, okay, boss? Okay, sir. From the start, Keyshawn Thomas is respectful to the officer who pulled him over on Capitol Drive. And he's always been a very respectful, very polite young man. Even as Thomas attempts to conceal what police believe was narcotics, he's apologetic. Train, you get, train, you get. Oh, sorry. All right, so there's one rock. Where's the other one? I have no more. I ate him. You ate him? Thomas's family has a real problem knowing officers saw him swallow something and didn't get him help. Whether they want it or not, you should be getting the medical assistance for that. Later, it appears Thomas and Jess even more. The subject was seated and handcuffed in the temporary booking room when he reached into his buttocks area and removed a packaged white substance believed to be narcotics that he placed into his mouth and began chewing. He speaks many times saying he wasn't feeling well. And when the question is asked, are you doing okay? And, and you say, no, I feel bad. I feel bad. I think that that should be should have been enough. Also released surveillance and body cam from District 5 two days later when a man walked into the lobby, asked police about Thomas's in custody death, and then opened fire. Bullets pierced the desk and civilians took cover. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Darian Parker Bell sustained multiple gunshot wounds. He survived and faces multiple charges, including attempted first degree intentional homicide. This involves our entire community because a simple traffic stop should not be a death sentence in the city of Milwaukee. Three officers involved in Thomas's investigation are on administrative duty pending the outcome of the investigation. The family now calling for their names to be released. Live in the newsroom, Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News. Lots of powerful video.